I'm Joel Mills. I'm a Teleadvisor at the University of Hull. My remit here is the Electronic Management of Assessment, Learning Space Design and Game-Based Learning. This means I get to play computer games to help people learn. I'm involved with lots of engagement projects in the community and my particular... What? What's happening? Whoa, what happened there? Okay. Oh, I'm in Minecraft. Wow, look at that. Hey, it's nice in here. There's lots of white space. I can do lots in here. Okay, so I'm iLearning UK and I'm really pleased to meet you. And I do lots of projects in Minecraft. So let me get uh, something out in case we get attacked by any zombies and we'll take a little walk. I'm going to show you around some of my projects, starting with Hullcraft. So follow me. Hi, pleased you could make it, and welcome to Hullcraft. This is where it all began just over a year ago. The building you can see behind me is the Hull History Centre, and Aaron, Hannah and I built this with over 18,000 blocks. I know, can't believe it myself. Well, I don't think we're going to be bothered by any zombies here at the History Centre, so I'll put my sword away and we'll go on an adventure. Come on, follow me, let's go. So here we are in Francis Johnson world, a world full of Georgian architecture. Over on my left I can see some of the Georgian facades that Hannah built for us to make Holcraft look more authentic. But Holcraft is also about other buildings, such as the one behind me. This is Burton Agnes Hall, again a Francis Johnson building. But is Holcraft all about Francis Johnson? Oh no, there's more to it than that. We're going to go and take a look at some of the other things we've been doing in Holcraft. Come on, let's go and see some more. This way. This is the space where the students got a chance to play on the MOOC. Each student was given their own plot and they were given tasks to do. We protected their plots and set them up for assessment. Let's take a look at how that assessment was done. Hello, welcome back. This is where we did the assessment on the MOOC. And as you can see over here, we've got a command block with a button and a chest. And these are the tools we use to give the grades back to the students and their feedback. <laughs> That's amazing. So let's take a look. When I come up here and I press this button here, you can see I press the button and the student gets graded at 80% because the command block is linked back to their VLE and that grade is sent back. Wow, isn't that incredible? So we can also give other things like feedback to the student. So over here in this chest, I can open up my chest and inside we can see the student has got their feedback. Now this student did a great build, so I gave them some feedback to tell them that they'd done really well and they can come into the game and collect that feedback at any time. Now because these tools are all linked via a plugin back to the VLE, we can actually write in a book like this. And I can give them feedback, oops, typo, there we go. And I can give them some feedback, and when I sign that book, that feedback gets sent back to the VLE as well. So the student can write in game, and it's like a submission. There we go, submitted the book contents. In the bottom left hand corner there we see the book was submitted and I can drop the books back into the chest. Now not only can we drop them into the chest but if I use a sign I can place a sign onto the chest and we can lock the chest. So only me and the student can get access to those feedback comments. Wow isn't that amazing? So Showing you there, we can do assessment in-game via an LTI integration with the VLE. Brilliant. Now, let's see what else we can do. Okay, come along, let's go. Hello, and welcome to our next Minecraft project in teaching and learning, Path Power. 
Over here on my left are some command blocks, and they are part of a bigger rig that is all about a plugin designed to simulate calories burned in game. Over here is the rig, and we've got some command blocks which trigger the plugin over here. Now, I have to put myself into survival mode, so I press this button, and then the plugin is going to convert the amount I run into calories burned. Let's go! I made it! I've run 73.2 meters in 14.8 seconds and I used 5.4 calories. You can also see where I was running really fast with the red squares. You can also see where I was running slower with the green squares and use less energy. What a great way to have a conversation with young people about energy burned, converted to calories and obesity. That's why we designed the plugin Path Power. So plugin design, bit of science, bit of history, We've even got assessment going on in Minecraft. Amazing. Now, we got our sports physiology students to design this rig here so that they could track the calories burned over a specific distance using path power. We've got other undergraduates also involved in our projects. And we're going to take you to a history and archaeology site called Warren Percy. Come on. So we've made Warren Percy, Britain's most recorded and documented deserted medieval village. And it's made out of real topographical data. And our undergraduate archaeology and history students are going to explore it, build in it, and recreate it as part of their undergraduate degree programme, giving them a chance to visualise Warren Percy in a whole new way. So from architecture to archaeology, from molecules to Minecraft club, it's been great. I've just got to try and figure out how I get out of here. What? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you're there. Hi. Yeah. So you can see we've got some great projects here going on at the university and out in the community involving game-based learning. It's really exciting stuff and I'm really pleased to have been able to tell you all about it. I suppose I'd better get back to work now. Okay, see ya. Now, where did I put my application form? Somewhere here. Ah, there it is, got it. Right then, so what to do? Busy, 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 life of a learning technologist. Always something to do, always something. <laughs>